Hello, so today I will perform a clone of uh, Passat D6 uh, CCM or also known as Com Comfort Module. So this is the original from the car. This is a donor. So it has a mark. I will transfer the data from here to here and also start the car and see it or it's okay so the reason i'm doing this switch is because the original ccm uh, it has a problem with the steering lock column so the car from time to time it's uh, showing a steering column lock error and also after 10 minutes when the car is trying to go to to sleep to turn off all the modules uh, the car it will return an error with uh, steering column lock but we will uh, make the switch so I will guide you through this process but before starting uh, I already uh, read the original module from so I will only uh, show on the donor a reading the from a cloning writing and the results from the car So, this is the EEPROM, it's an ST95320, so we will, on solder, we will read and solder back and put into the car. So, I will make a, a mark in order to know the position. Later when I solder back, but anyway, I know for sure here it's the pin one. But I will make a, a mark. So going to the solder process. I will apply some flux, a little bit, not much. So. From it's out. I will clean the pads.
new one shiny. So the pads are clean. Now let's uh, put it in the programmer. Straight, let's go to the computer. So the memory is T95320. We select, we read it, let's save it. So I have it new CCM. Save it. So this is the software. It's a PQ4647 CCM tool. It's from Dunt.at. It's a free software which have the capability to clone the CCM. So the software is open. I will click on the clone CCM to another. So this window will open. I open the old CCM, which I know I read it yesterday. So it's this one. I open, which I made it now, new CCM and just click uh, save new dump so i will put the name ccm underline that okay so we have the message cloned okay so let's load let's load from the file so we made CCM clone OK. Load and hit programming button. So EEPROM it's cloned and the uh, program. Now we'll need to assemble back. In position. a little bit but secure one second pin we will check also on the other side so everything is good now I can solder it properly Well, I don't need flux because uh, also the wire has flux inside. I'm putting directly the wire near the pad, so yeah, all good. Even if it's a clean flux. I will clean it first. So make sure nothing is left there. Also, the the red mark which I made it's uh, done with alcohol. 
so everything is good checking one more time the solders uh, this is good for me to see and uh, dry fast with a little bit hot air so all good put it back in the case we need to press it hard so let's go to the car uh, by the way i will need to program also a new remote because the original one it's on 315 megahertz it's a uh, an usa car but it's in europe so the chip it will work the old one but the remote with the new module it will not work because the radio frequency is different also the coding needs to be taken from this one and uh, make the proper coding in this module but i will go step by step So we are in the car, for the test purpose I will uh, mount the old module and show you how is the behavior. So it's a little bit hard to connect the phone, I will try to do it. You can already hear the plug is the original CCM and it's uh, showing the steering column lock defective. In 10 minutes it doesn't put the car to sleep and it's returning this error. And after a while the car will not uh, start because the steering column will not unlock. So I will need to grab the keys and get the coding. Connect via the error, see if we can get the ignition off. This is the error. So I clear it. Now I can put the ignition. So let's get. So the CCM have an error, control module defective. I will just copy the coding. So I have mounted the new CCM. The old one is here. I will put the protection cover back and do the coding and program a new remote. So original key. Ignition. Okay, we will switch the coding. Wrong copy paste. Copy the original one. Paste it. Do the coding. So the coding is accepted. Now we need to clear the fault codes of the doors, of course. So now, no fault code. So adaptation, I will erase all the remotes, and I will 
do remote control adaptation test save yes and sure so I will take the key okay I will try with this one but this is a 350 megahertz it will not work so the original key car only the chip it will work to allow to start the engine but I will program also the chip from the new key and the car is ready to wrap up and send to the customer